Good morning, modern steaders. It's Sunday morning, and it is not even 6 a.m. yet. And man, we got some crazy weather last night. Today's the last day of the pasture to plate pig culinary class, and it's been great, but look at this. What? Yeah, very so little, not appetizing. Very little of what we're doing it looks appetizing while you're making it. So while you're putting it on, just keep an eye on it, and if you see a hole, we'll just make another one. You can kind of see when you do this if there are any holes in it, usually it can pull up a little bit. And you load it up, but you don't need to load this whole thing right. with sauce. Okay. And this is a pretty sticky mix which is one reason we like it. Sometimes you do this and it's almost like water. And then it's just a matter of stuffing it down in there. And it, it's, it'll create a little bit of a vacuum. Let's see, I let it go down a little bit too far. Okay. I think we can get the smoker to like 170. Ooh, look at that. Mm. No, it was a doll I had in the basement. It's like the perfect size for this. I was hoping it wasn't too big. I'm like, oh, it didn't fit perfectly. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Two, four, two. Five. I love the six one. That'll give us a little bit. That'll give us a little bit of room to tie it. But I tie it at the end here. Like I said, we want it to hang into the water. Mm -hmm. It grew up so. on this. We didn't make it, but it came from the butcher. So it's the same tie job that I showed you earlier. Where was tie an overhand knot? Now I guess I can start my timer. The canner. Oh, this my dad's working. <laughs> Rich will appreciate this. <laughs> I said I need to get a shot of this. I got my dad working. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Right? <laughs> Rich, Rich will be proud. Okay, go ahead, sneak in. I'm not a candy house person. <laughs> I mean, I've done it, but I, I'm usually doing it without just doing it. This is Matt has been out for the radius pasture for $6 or $7 a pound. Did you try it? Those are beautiful. Yeah, they are gorgeous. I saw you on film. I got you on camera. I'm gonna get out the sausage quicker and put some of those holes in a minute. Time is up. You can ramrod it. Yep. Look at that. It's like, roll it up, it's like a cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat a delicious cannonball. Yeah, right. Yeah. Hit me with it anytime. <laughs> 
Looks pretty good to me. It's good to me. Why do I yeah. Get it in there. Mm -hmm. We good. It takes a while to make it. Mm -hmm. No, it does. Yeah, like part of the appeal. Back it's thin right around. Yeah, but it's pretty much Pretty much Yeah. Just keep it in there. And in that case, obviously, you're going to have way more. I think it's best if you hold it right here. Pull it right here. Yeah. Then, then it's real fast. Then you can make sure it's filling all the way through. This is really hard to do if you don't have it pre-punched. <coughs> and the first one's kind of be fun. Yeah, there's a lot of fat on one end to try to get through. Really? <laughs> yeah, people do that because it makes them feel... You guys feel like this? So like we said, we're going to be eating a lot here soon, so when you're offered something, don't take big portions. So there's going to be a lot of food here shortly. We're going to have pate and head cheese. Blood sausage and hot dogs. It's not very at, at So take a little bit of each, and after you had all of it's different all though. This gets harder yes. than so much closer. So I'm trying to pull it. Yeah, ours away. is a barrel stove. So I know I do the same thing if I'm hot smoking. I push the fire all the way back to the pipe. Yeah. I only say that because hopefully the ones that and then I'm gonna go up really quick and then reverse it. And then reverse it. That's it. Yeah, you just gotta hold up in there. Here, You're going to want to kind of move it so you can get it all the way filled. It's a little bit tricky of an operation. You have to kind of work it back and forth. <laughs> you guys remember the pork was so nice. It's so like an Italian like rice. Pasta? It's like what a hot dog probably once was before it became what we know it to be. Don't put yeah. me on there. <laughs> I still have the small flavor in my mouth. <laughs> Right. But they're not in natural cases either. They're in synthetic like collagen or something like that. Here is a here is an unfried or pretty good if you want. Not that intense. The blood flavor is not at all. No. 
No, you no, can't. I don't think I'd be interested in that. Right. How is it done? Oh. How is it? It's really mild. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Yeah. It's not bloody. Not enough salt. Huh? Not enough salt? <laughs> it could use more salt, but it doesn't have, it likes to higher than, than you would expect. A lot better than I expected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks nice on the mahogany. Rich mahogany. The hog, I mean. It, it is the end of the pasture to plate whole hog culinary class and man we have a lot of delicious food here. We put my stuff down. We learned a boatload. We ate a ton today. It was good. Let me show you what the walk-in cooler looks like now. Look at it. We got smoked hot dogs, some smoked blood sausage, smoked sausage we have our last year's prosciutto covered with lard and pepper to let it finish doing the curing process we have our ground pork all of our pork meats our pork belly for future bacon this year's or this season's prosciutto, meat to make our hot dogs. We have a stuffed trotter with sausage. We have some roulettes. And I know I said that last one wrong. So you can correct me in the comments on that one. But we need to get everything from our walk-in cooler into our freezer. We're gonna do that tonight. We're going to take our shoes off, sit back and relax. We, and everybody that was here did an awesome job and worked hard. I want to thank everybody here for all of your effort. Hope you got more than what I got out of the class. I got a ton. It was great. It was a good time seeing everybody. And man, we got some good food. And we're going to be making some more delicious food with all of this food. I can't wait. We'll see you right back here at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.